This video will introduce you to some aspects of the SIFT window that you're seeing on the screen right now. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Um, you see a map with some uh, windows on the right-hand side of the feature. Uh, you can drag the map around uh, pretty easily. You can zoom in and out using the wheel on your mouse. You can zoom way out or zoom way in. We're looking at the island of Guam here. Um, in the upper left hand corner you will see some things you can click on to load data. <coughs> we'll look at that a little bit later. Um, loading either from a disk or from the cache. And there's some other controls that are shown here. Um, the next one is showing how to create a composite. Then we have some shortcuts. Uh, we'll look at them in a bit. So some one key shortcuts to help you do some things. Uh, let's. So we're, we're, I'm using the B key now to turn on the borders. B for borders. Uh, you cycle through them. Uh, either they're white or they're black or they're gray. They're not there or they're cyan. So that's just a nice way to turn things on and off if you think the borders are interfering with your view. You can do the same thing with a lot long lines with the L key, turning them on and off, which is what I'm doing now. <coughs> uh, let's look now at the uh, windows on the right hand side. There are a bunch of different ones. We're going to look at the uh, where values of the different bands that are loaded will be put in and this is a uh, something if you choose an area or a region you'll see the information either as a bar graph um, or as I'll show you a little bit later as a uh, X versus Y. These things pop out so double click on them and you can move them around and uh, change the size. <coughs> which is pretty handy if you have multiple screens. If you just want to look at things a little bit bigger, um, both of them will pop out. Again, we're looking at the, the, the uh, probe values in one, or, or which, uh, which bands are loaded, um, and then we can double click to get them back inside. Um, in the bottom right, we typically have a something that tells you about what you're looking at on the screen. Of course, it's blank right now, and there's a method of creating an RGB where you would specify the, the red and the green and the blue that go into it. And again, like the other ones, you can double click on these to move them out if you want to. <coughs> um, or try to put them back where they were. Uh, sometimes it can be a little persnickety getting them back to exactly where you want them. And I think I'm going to be playing around with this to get it so they're just as it was loaded. Um, as, as you say, it's a little, it can be a little bit tricky. So let's move the RGB up here, put it inside, and now we have them both of them so we can toggle between the two of them. Now if you want to look at a combination, I should have shown you this earlier, there's this X versus Y, click on the versus Y and you choose it, and then you'll see, you'll see a density diagram between the two. So next I'll show you how to load data and how to look at it. 